Chernobyl Power Plant, a hope for the future. MAR Corporation begins trials of their proprietary recultivation technology. Chronium 90 and plutonium 240. Some never abandoned their homes or even moved back. Will Samashev's be removed forcibly from the exclusion zone? Demonstrations across the Ukraine. Ten billions of Herivnias for an indefinite lease. This is a cabal. NAR thinks they are above the law. What does NAR really hide behind the patent rights? One thing is certain. The sarcophagus must remain intact. Wake up, you sleepyhead. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimi Nick. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? Decor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. Awaken. Tanya? Tanya, stop kidding around. You sleepyhead.
Why is this place so familiar? It's my old workshop. Please hurry. This reality is coming. Get back to your work. It's the only way out of here. Feels good to return. The entire zone is on lockdown. NAR doesn't screw around. Yeah. Let's just hope our source comes through and we don't run into any patrols on the way. And what if we do? We will improvise. That's what our sleeping beauty here paid us for, remember? Sure, sure. Do you really think they'll test this recruit re recultivation something? I haven't seen any signs of that, but I'm telling you, something is up. There are way too many contractors for such a small area. We can handle the contractors. They're probably some of Wagner's rejects. Fuck you. I fought alongside those guys. I know, I'm just messing around, Anton. Let's focus on getting our professor here some of this... Chernobylite? That's what it's called? Igor? Igor. Igor, we have to go. What? I must have dozed off for a moment. Let's go. What are you? Having doubts, Professor? If you're thinking about backing out, you need to tell us now. Not a chance. Let's get this over with. Are you sure this plan of yours is going to work, Professor Kimenyuk? Igor, please. And yes, it will. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a firefight. A, a fire? What are you getting us into, Igor? It is necessary. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles, Professor. But you're the boss. Reminds me of that night up in Syria. Remember that, Olivier? I do, unfortunately. Misha, we can't! We have to fall back! The pressure's dropping! Downstairs! Now! Go! 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 This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go. Through the fence, into the sewers. Sewers? Oh. And down into the underworld we go. It's nothing but a hole in the ground, Anton. Oh, does anyone else feel itchy? So, how bad is the radiation around here these days? It's been a long time, right? Do yourself a favor and don't think about that right now. Let's focus on doing the job and getting out of here in one piece. Igor, if the shit hits the fan, get yourself out of sight until we take care of it, okay? Don't be a Giroi. Don't panic, Olivier. No Giroi is here. Only some desperate people walking into the heart of darkness. No talking. Go. After you, Igor. Ladies and eggheads first. Funny guy, yeah? Shit, Igor! Get down! Get to the sewer entrance. We're right behind you. shadows. Become invisible. So, you were inside the lab? Yeah, for a bit. 
See anything interesting? Nah. Interesting is above my pay grade. Now pass that bottle, Sergey. Eagle, hey, over here. You sure this is the right entrance? I used to work here, remember? Yeah, I'm sure. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? Three point six. Not great. Not terrible. Chin up. We're safe for another hour or so, all right? None of you are safe. I hope you have a good memory. Okay, I'll take point. Yes, sir, uh, Captain Olivier, sir. this device of yours works, Igor. I don't have time for getting into details right now, but yes, all it needs is more Chernobylite. The most radioactive compound on Earth. That's what you called it. The man knows what he's doing, Anton. Stay focused. Complete the mission. We'll all be laughing about this over a beer before you know it. The readings are bad. The numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God. Let me out of here. Let me out. Alexander Boresovich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. Take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over here. Okay, it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. Is that Eagle? All right, Eagle. You're the star. Ready to execute the plan? I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... <gasps> Igor, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. It's nothing. Just tired. Right. You good? 
Yeah, I'm good. Please focus on your job, and I focus on mine. Get back to it, then. The reactor room, now! Nonsense! It was just a fire, nothing more. We'll get it under control. Our BMK reactors do not explode. The reactor core is exposed. I can see the graphite on the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. You killed us, you arrogant son of a bitch! You've killed us all! Let's get this done quickly. Sorry, am I holding you up? Can you up down? It's even colder than I remember. You've seen one of these before, haven't you? A much smaller fragment, but enough for my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy... Uh, that's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And where does this shortcut lead? It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. She disappeared here during the disaster 30 years ago. Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. <gasps> Fucking God! Help me! Listen, I... Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was... Uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now, to confirm this theory... Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. Uh, uh, my arm... Uh, it feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. I'm going to execute that black-masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. This place is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake, shedding its skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it.
singularity. Tearing at the fabric of reality. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time! Go! if we walk through these gates. More than I can count. Let's go in together, my love. where I can see them. What's the password? Would you mind? I can't think with that gun pointed at me. Igor? Oh, damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. Create order from this chaos. Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. 
Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, we'll document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? Okay. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you figure out what happened to this... Tatiana? That was her name, right? One last thing before you go. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms? Then you're all set. I have faith in you, Igor. Man, what a view. This panoramic overlook of the zone will help us plan our tasks for the day ahead. Just let me know when you're ready, boss. We can get started. You can see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? На Чернобыльской атомной электростанции в городе Третьей сообщает, что следы аварии. Внимание, внимание! Уважаемые товарищи! Сообщает, что следы аварии. You're making a big mistake. Why did you come here? Watch out for him. 
He can do you serious harm. You will only find pain here. No, no fucking way I'm abandoning Tatiana now. He is coming, Igor. He's close.
Do you have open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? Do you have to open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? Heed the call from the void. Heed the call from the void. Repeat the words coming from my dead lips. <laughs> Who's there? Why are you loitering here? Easy. I'm just looking for some parts. What? Speak louder. I'm looking for some parts. Stop yelling. It's not safe here. Why isn't it safe? What kind of question is that? NKVD, of course. NKVD? The secret Soviet police? These bastards came around here snooping. They arrested my sister-in-law for being a kulak. And she only has two cows. Two fucking cows, goddammit. The NKVD doesn't exist anymore. You don't need to worry about them. Yes, yes. Yes, you is a piece of shit. His goons are persecuting everyone. Even decorated war heroes like myself. Duh. Oh, my. What? You've got to speak louder, lad. My hearing is not so good anymore after some fritz threw a grenade into my bunker. Uh, do... do you have anything to trade? Perhaps some parts? Why didn't you ask sooner? Of course I do. I'll trade you junk for some bullets. I'd like to exchange a bullet. Did you find it? Take a look. See you later.
Stop right there! You're on Pripyat Bradfa turf now! I'm... what? Where? Bradfa! Pripyat Bradfa! You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Yeah, I'm a tourist. My name is Igor. What's going on? Bradfa runs this place, that's what's going on. Pripyat Bradfa. And you will obey the rules, Igor the tourist. Uh, what is this? Bradfa? Bradfa is Sasha, Grisha, Oleg, Vova, and Aloysia. And Evgeny. Interesting. And where are all these guys? Well, let me think. Uh, Sasha got arrested, Grisha was shot, uh, Oleg fell to his death, Vova drowned, Aloysia overdosed, only Evgeny is left. And I take it that Evgeny is you? Evgeny is me. I'm the last man standing. I'm the Pripyat Bratva now. I made the rules, you got it, tourist? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You make the rules. Good. I like you already. Just remember the number one rule. Don't fuck with us. Nobody fucks with Bratva, tourist or no. You know, you listen pretty well. I've decided to let you join our gang. You can be my second in command. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? Duh. I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Each box is totally random? Duh. My loot boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest physiologist in our neighborhood. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot, on me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A broad for secret. I better be going now. Bradfa forever, Igor!
came to finish the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Uh, use your eyes, genius! God, that goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us! Here. This should get you back on your feet. Thank you. I won't forget this. I have to take a leak stone. Did you see that?
What a stupid job. And I was stupid enough to take it. I hate being outside, cold, wet, and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the dick. I could use a smoke. Play makes Vladimir a dull boy. I think this approach is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. 
I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important, but last time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. <laughs> Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun, I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops, and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient. Plan. Strategize. Take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. As a military man, I'm used to sleeping rough. But is it really necessary? Think you could get us some more beds? More beds. I'm on it. Yes, restful sleep is critical to our effectiveness. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your... <laughs> no. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival skills or shooting. But I'll be happy to teach you some basics. It'll make my job easier too if you know how to handle yourself out there. Perfect. Let's do it. Follow me. Taking out your enemy requires guts. Taking out your enemy quietly is an art. I think you've got what it takes to do the former, but you suck mightily at the latter. Now, the lesson is about knocking out your opponent without being spotted by him or anyone else. The secret lies in understanding human anatomy as well as stealth. It's about knowing how to apply enough force to put your opponent out of commission without killing them. Let's put theory into practice. Sneak up on me and perform a chokehold. Let's begin. Okay, Igor, enough. That was impressive. Well done, soldier.
What's going on, Igor? Can we swap some stuff, Olivia? Sure, whatever you need. <laughs> 